Uh, so we're just getting here, we arrived, we're in Latvia. This is round three of the uh, RX3 World Rally Cross Championship. I've just come off the back of a double win at double header in Pembury in the British Championship last weekend. Well, we're out at 9.30, I think it's now just gone 8.30, so uh, got to go get changed, get a few things done, and see what we can do. Just to let you know that yeah. the level of grip on the new concrete is really bad. Too fast in, everywhere. Too fast in, slow out. Uh, we've just done free practice there. Absolutely insane. I mean, the track's on rails. First practice there, Victor Branks, he uh, locked up a little bit because I think he went over a little bit too fast, went into the walls. So we didn't knew our spot. You just first squat. Go in, go yeah. in, it just goes round. Did you just spot not tell you? Right, you spun in the front. <laughs> and did you see Victor? No, over the first time. He's still in the air. No, no. That, he's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> As I get further into this and my hands get colder, the, the signature's getting worse and worse. Are they cool? Wait, they help you. It's a good start in pole position from Raul Ferrer. O'Donovan takes a look in right around the outside. Oh, he's gone! Uh, Patrick O'Donovan is all over the back of Raul Ferrer. Watch carefully. That's been a stellar lap from uh, Ferrer. This is a clean drive from both of them, sensible to get the time. Like you had that, easy. You just was interrupted the whole way. For the this is called a hat trick. So, and you need to get three. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it can be however. Okay. And you have to get all threes for a thousand. But this is my practice run. Yeah, unless you can have it, one unless practice. it works. Oh. Oh, it's that close. Was close. It's that close. Was all right, that was all right. Oh, no. right, you don't get a thousand. The only reason I make these, these bets with Dave is because after Nitro, is it, Living Hill? Yeah. I uh, went for a curry, just like family, we're celebrating stuff, and uh, we brought Dave along for some reason. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, and he bet me a hundred quid I wouldn't order a Vindaloo. Well, what's your normal order? Chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala. It, yeah, it tastes banging. It's oh mate, it tastes. That is a different gravy, literally. So he, he bet 100 quid I wouldn't. I ate it. He only gave me 90 quid, which I think was a bit of a cop. But I'm still over 10. I only had 90 quid cash from me. I take bank transfer too. And what happened the next day? We don't talk about the next day. But would you eat? Would you? How well, opens your well to new spices? Be fair. I, I can order a level higher in Nando's now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have lemon and herb? Yeah. You can have not plain <laughs> lemon and herb. Exactly. No, I'm joking. Only we order only hot. So, yeah. Away they go. Victor France has got good speed, but is he going to find the line? No. He decides to go for the inside into lap two, and he's taking it away from Patrick O'Donovan. O'Donovan's going to cross the line now. And the gap is down to 3.2. He's taken another 10. This will be very close. O'Donovan comes around the outside. In comes O'Donovan for Great Britain. They are very close indeed. Victor Franks holds the line. Victor Franks has taken Heat 2 race to one. Heat 2 wrapped up. It's uh, That's our day actually finished today. Heat, heat 2 was actually really good. We got a good start. And, uh, and then on the last lap, when Victor went into the Joker, it was quite close. I came out just behind him and I think I was... Uh, given a bit of a bump draft down the straight into cross the finish line, so a bit of circuit racing going on there in the rally cross, you know. I think we're lying P4 overall overnight. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Race day. I'm still in bed. Uh, just got up 7.12. I'm meant to be picked up in like 18 minutes. Still gotta go have a shower, get ready and things. But I'll be ready in 18 minutes. 17 minutes now. I don't know. Probably not. Lads. Morning. Morning. Before you start touching, yeah. roll, go. Yeah. yeah. You're just like sitting there like that. All you can see is the top of the trees. You see how abrasive it is? Yeah. So why aren't you going fast around it? We've only got four tyres for the weekend, you know. Um, day two here. Looking forward to it. 
Gonna do bits, see what we can do, fat sends, and uh, hopefully not end up in the wall, and we'll see what happens. We can see it's highly moist outside. As somebody who lives in Britain, this is me in my natural habitat. No, it's, it's pretty moist, it's pretty wet, droplets, but uh, no, it should be good fun. I like the wet. Growing up on things like quad bikes and old like Nissan Micros and stuff in the UK where it's always raining, I just, I love getting things to slide. No matter if it's rear wheel drive, four wheel drive or front wheel drive, getting it to slide in the wet is always fun. It's a wonderful start. Anderson in the brake, she just hasn't got the car underneath him. O'Donovan's going to go round the outside, he gets very sideways. It looks like, visually, O'Donovan might have enough here, but he gets very sideways in the joker lap. O'Donovan's uh, lost a lot of the momentum there, will struggle to hold the lead from Anderson. He pushes Anderson wide, O'Donovan's got this in the back. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see the joke on it? Oh, I thought I'd pinned it too, if I'm being completely honest. I was like, right, okay, I need to take as much speed as I can, carry the momentum. I think I carried a bit too much. I don't know if I hit a pun or if it was just too much speed. I was like, Aah! like backwards, and I was like, I need to keep the power on. I was like, full lock. And then it just started coming back around the other way, and I was like, oh, full lock the other way. And I just saw him like coming out, and I was like, Aah! It's a legendary drink. The best drink. I'm not going to say the best drink. I'm not going to cut myself off from many brand endorsements. <laughs> Ever since I was like 12 in Autogross, I used to really like them and I just I started bringing them and I started doing quite well. And it was just a psychological thing. I know it's stupid, but they taste pretty banging too. Like This is the multivitamin one, the uh, mixed fruits, but the orange one, divine. <laughs> they love the cabinet. I don't. You drink too many of them. I have one for every race, ever. No, I missed one race where I didn't have it and I ended up in the wall in Spa. It's not health advice, but how many do you drink a day <laughs> on how a race weekend? Wait, how many? Uh, practice one, practice two, heat one, heat two, heat three, progression race, semi, and final. <laughs> Nine! So you've got nearly 500 calories, let's say. They taste good. Life short. Yo, know, though, I might not be here next week. At least I can enjoy my Capri Sun while I am. You won't be here next week <laughs> if you drink 10 of them a day. On the radio to Dave, there just talking about what kind of different start strategies we're thinking of. Uh, all depending on if I get a decent start or not. Oh, good launch! It's the British driver O'Donovan that has the early lead going into corner one. It's allowing Patrick O'Donovan to draw clear. Here comes the British driver taking the checkered flag. Good job. Yeah, he's done it. He took it. I was pretty happy with that. Just got a good start. I looked to the left, I was like, oh, he's not there. Yeah, I had Mansfield on the radio telling me gaps and stuff, and I, he was telling me, you've got a gap, you got a gap. And so then, after he said that, like, I think on the last lap, like, for half a lap, I kind of just, like a granny on her way to Tesco's to pick up a few apples, like, whoo, <laughs> happy with that. It is approximately 2.56. We are currently waiting for our semi-final. So this is how it works. We got semi-final two for me. I'm in with Raul, Victor, and Pablo. But yeah, so we're just gonna probably choose pole, try and hold our line, see what we can do. No, 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 one moment. Alright, okay, okay. But keep the car up just in case. Just keep the car. Wait, Dave, 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 give me a sec. Give me, Dave, 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 Dave. Give me a sec. Joseph, leave dry tires on. Come on, in. Let's do this. A little bit of wheel spin from all four on the launch. Victor Franz is going to get squeezed in here. With all oh, I say that, Pablo Suarez has dropped it into the wall on the exit of four. All for air gets all sideways. Patrick O'Donovan building his confidence, his self belief as the British driver heads into the final. The weather, like the, the track conditions were changing every lap. It was just getting, the rain was getting heavier and heavier, so you just had to choose your braking points differently every lap. So it was nice having to adapt to that, uh, those kinds of conditions, you know. Brilliant drive. See you in the final, Patrick. Thank you very much. Woo! It's my first final this year. I haven't made a final yet. I thought it was going to be 0-0 zero, zero on the car for zero finals. At some, I, was, I was thinking it's definitely going to be like that, but no, I'm really happy to. Isaac is really, really quick. So we're going to do the best we can to see if we can upset his chain of P1s. Yeah. What a thrill. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So uh, we're lining up P2, he's chosen P3, uh, I think Vittles P1, Raul P4, Victor P5, so we're going to do the best we can with what we got. can see Victor Frank struggling for the traction from P1. There's a little bit of bump and barge with Jokvist at the front. Patrick O'Donovan now hits the accelerator and goes into the lead for the first time this weekend. O'Donovan defending the inside. Has he got a problem? Jokvist has a run around the outside. Patrick O'Donovan claims his first ever RX2E victory. Bye, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome today's winner of round three of the FIA RX2E Championship. It's Patrick O'Donovan. <laughs> I don't know. Smile. Thank you. Thank you. I need to call my dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Absolutely a banging weekend here in Riga. Like, I'm absolutely lost for words. I'm, like, my voice is going a little bit from the final there. I was just screaming my head off down the radio to Dave. Uh, we managed to. Secure P1, we got the dubs. Um, it wasn't easy though. I mean, possibly the closest racing I've ever been involved in, but the happiest day of my life. I just want to thank everyone that supported me um, to get to this point already. And hopefully there's many more to come. And uh, I want to thank every single one of you who's actually thought, hey, let's watch this thing. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. You might as well like and subscribe already. But no, I'm just, Absolutely over the moon, so thank you everyone. Thank you very much. I, I had a flight book for seven in the morning. I'm doing my absolute best right now to try and change that. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not making it to work in the morning. There's no chance. <laughs>